हेलो एवरीवन एक्सरसाइज 1.3 क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 राइट द डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ द रैशनल नंबर 257 अपॉन 5000 इन द फॉर्म ऑफ 2 टू द पावर m 4 5 टू द पावर n वेयर m एंड n आर नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स हेंस राइट इट्स डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन विदाउट एक्चुअल डिवीजन वन ऑफ द मेथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग इट इज डिवाइडिंग द नंबर लाइक 5000 257 and now we can divide it but we have to solve it without actual division that means that if in case in the denominator there are equal number of factors of 2 and 5 then they can be multiplied and we can only shift to a decimal place here if we talk about 5000 to this I can write as 2 into 5 into 2 into 5 into 2 into 5 multiplied by 5 because 2 into 5 is 1 0 again 2 into 5 means 1 0 this 2 into 5 means 1 0 and this 5 is already here so this I can write as 5 to the power 4 into 2 to the power 3 where the value of m is the power of 2 so the value of m is 3 and the value of n is 4 but when we have to solve this kind of fraction without actual division so we need that the fraction the power of 5 and 3 must be both equal so if I multiply this in the numerator as well in, as in the denominator by 2 already 5000 is 5 to the power 4 into 2 to the power 3 if I multiply it by 2 then here it becomes 2 to the power 4 so when multiplying it 2 multiplied by 2 or 257 is 514 upon this comes out to be 1 with 4 zeros and when I am cancelling these 4 zeros so decimal place has to be shift as 1, 2, 3 and we have to put a 0 before this and a decimal so the answer comes out to be 0 0.0514 so this is the answer for this particular fraction Question number 7 is write the decimal expansion of 1 upon 7 hence write the decimal expansion of all the other fractions having 7 in the denominator and less than 7 value in the numerator. So when I actually divide 1 by 7 we have to understand that what is happening in the process. So it is decimal putting a 0 1s are 7 so we take 3 putting a 0 4s are 28 now. One thing we have to keep in mind, if we are dividing a number by 7, definitely the remainder must be less than 7. And if it is less than 7, it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So when there is a remainder 2, again 0, uh, this is 2 ja 14, then 6, again a 0, then 8 ja 56, 4, again a 0, then 5 ja, uh, 5 ja 35. Then 5 again a 0, 7 ja 49 and here comes 1. Again if we put a 0 after this, then this process will repeat further. And this process will keep on repeating. That means 1 upon 7 can be written as 0.142857 with a bar. This bar means that 142857 will keep on repeating itself. This can be represented like 142857, 142857, 142857. So this is a non-terminating number and which is repeating itself. So this is a non-terminating repeating decimal. Now, if I have to write a value of 2 upon 7, that means the process will start from here. And whenever we will get 2, then again the process will repeat itself. For 2, the process will start from this point. And when the process is starting from this point, that means 2 upon 7 can be written as 0 0.285714, 285714 and so on. Or it can be written as 0 0.285714 with a bar. That means these numbers are repeating themselves endlessly. When I talk about 3 upon 7, that means the process will start from here. So 3 upon 7 can be written as 0 0.42857. 0 0.42857. 0 0.42857. 0 0.42857. 0 0.42857. 0 0.42857. 
5715 because if in case we start the process from here then 7 4 is 28 so the process will start with 4 not with 1 if it is 4 upon 7 it means the process will start from here so it will start from 5 so I can write it as 0.571428 with a bar same way for writing a number 5 upon 7 it is 0.7 the process will start from 7 because 7 7 is 49 so 7 will be the first term 7142815 bar and when we talk about 6 upon 7 then the process will start from this place this place means starting from 8 so it is 0 0.857142 bar so this way we can calculate 2 upon 7, 3 upon 7, 5 upon 7 or any value once we have calculated the value of 1 upon 7 or this is very simple that when in the denominator there is any factor except 2 or 5 then these are always the non-terminating repeating rational numbers so if in case still you have any problem you can email us or contact us and if you need other questions to be solved you can email those questions as well if you have any problem email us or contact us thank you